Hi Twin Flames and uh, welcome back to Tarot for You 444. It's certainly lovely to have you with me today. This is going to be a story time reading. Okay, so what's happened is I was doing another reading today and um, anyway, this story came through from a, a Divine Masculine and then, you know, it's like another three stories came through. So I've got four different stories for you today. Story one, two, three, and four. So before we get started, just, you know, um, I don't know, it's not really a pick a card because it'll either resonate for you or it won't. Um, but what I'm going to do is try and make each story five minutes. Okay, so, um, you know, you can scoot forward to the next story if you want to. Um, but, you know, there may be things that you can take that resonate for you anyway. So maybe you could listen to all four stories and I'll try and keep the video to 20 minutes. Okay, good. All right, so let's get started. First of all, I want to say congratulations to Mind Feminine. You're doing a great job on yourself. Uh, the first story that came through is from a Divine Masculine who has said to his Divine Feminine, you know, in conversation that he has not got very much money okay so he said you know that he's struggling with money you know that he's you know trying to pay you know all the different bills and things like that but he actually has a lot of money okay and the reason he's wearing this mask it's really it's kind of really beautiful actually is because he's had his heart broken in the past and he wants to make sure that the divine feminine um, who he is, you know, who he knows is his divine feminine, um, isn't all about the money. Okay, so this is story one. So this divine masculine, you know, all these love messages literally just fell out. Okay, so even though he's sort of done a bit of a lie, because it is lying, if you're not telling the truth, you're lying, but... Um, it's because he doesn't want to get hurt okay so if you're a divine feminine you're listening and you've got this red flag in your mind that you know oh he said he doesn't really have enough money but he seems to you know have a decent job and you know it's just not making sense if you've got that gut feeling then this one is for you okay so this divine masculine you'll know him because he will bless and appreciate every religion okay he will give attention to what he is creating okay so he knows how to create he's awake all right he imagines being doing and having a lot of things he's a very good manifester his physical well-being is very good okay he's very good he makes many decisions for his job all of the time. He knows that when there are issues in life, that these issues will resolve themselves. He also loves the ocean. Okay. He also loves the ocean and nature. I feel as though this divine masculine has a job where he is outside. Okay. Um, and if he's not outside, he's he loves being outside. Okay, so he takes care of himself a lot. He nurtures his own body. He takes care of it. So he could be fit. He could have a nice um, a nice body that's well taken care of, maintained well. Okay, he understands that the energy in the universe he can use to his advantage. Not in a bad way, in a good way, okay? He, like he understands the law of attraction, right? He is very dominant, okay, and secure in his role. Whatever he does, he's very dominant and secure. His family or his family lineage uh, may own property or... Um, you know, fruit trees or harvesting. I'm getting that kind of energy coming through. You know, agricultural land, 
where they make money from that you know something that's been handed down through the family okay so here's love messages <laughs> oh my gosh he, he came out and said i'm addicted to the way i feel when i'm thinking about you there's just something about you i'm scared to lose because i know i won't find it in anyone else I don't care how hard being together is. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe he's German. I sounded German then. Nothing is the worst as being apart. That's the worst. <laughs> the worst accent you ever heard in your life. <laughs> Hang on, where's Harry? Let me hide behind Harry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like he's got an accent. Okay. It's not necessarily German, but it feels like he's got an accent of some kind. Okay, where are we up to? Let me say this in English. <laughs> I don't care how hard being together is. Nothing is worse than being apart. I crack myself up sometimes. I really do. Okay. Do you even realize how amazing you are to me? Okay. This guy literally wants to sweep Divine Feminine off her feet and she will not see it coming. She will not see it coming when he comes in. He is like hot for her in a big way like i'm getting this you know whew, you know hot it's getting hot in here ever since i met you nobody else is worth thinking about right so he's you know he's got enough money to have whoever he wants you know what i mean that sounds terrible but you know he can be a sugar daddy if he wants to or whatever that's called but he doesn't want that he wants divine feminine it's so hard not talking to you. So he might not be talking right now. He might be busy with his business. I'm connected with you no matter where you are. Okay. So he knows, you know, he knows about the twin flame journey. He knows that you are twins. Okay. So because he hasn't been completely forthright and honest with you, he says, I made a mistake now I'm living with the consequences. I regret it. I really do. He's feeling guilty about not telling you, Divine Feminine. Please understand that I was in pain. I never meant to ruin things. I never meant to ruin us. So he's feeling guilty <coughs> that my throat shark was... <coughs> It'll go away in a minute. <laughs> but he, he, ha he needs to speak up. He feels guilty that he didn't speak up. So what he's doing right now is he's keeping himself busy with the things he does. I'll just read the card instead of trying to <laughs> trying to create accents and making things up. I keep myself busy with the things I do, but every time I pause, I still think of you. Okay, so he's flat out doing his business stuff. You are the reason why I'm smiling again. I get butterflies every time my eyes lock with yours. I feel like he's looking at your pictures. I feel like he's looking at your social media. I feel like he's addicted to you. Really highly addicted to you. Addicted. Okay. On the bottom of the deck for this guy, I acted like it wasn't a big deal when it was really breaking my heart. I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like those movies where the guy goes you know pretends to be poor a little bit but really he's got heaps of money and she doesn't care about it anyway but when he comes in he's like literally owns all this property and she'll never have to work and sweeps her off of her feet it's really this kind of fairy tale energy here it's it's very beautiful so <laughs> divine masculine He's feeling guilty, though, for not saying it. But he did it to protect his heart, which is, you know, you can understand that from, you know, because the way the world is, some people are very materialistic. Not that the divine feminine is, but, you know, when he met her, he didn't know that. So he he played a little sneaky on her. Alrighty, so that's number one reading. Number two is this guy, whoever this is, is in love with his divine feminine very much. He absolutely, absolutely wants marriage with her. You know, hands down, without a doubt, wants marriage. He can't get to his divine feminine yet. <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra. Every time divine masculine. Okay. He's been manifesting this twin flame thing. 
you know, I see him meditating. I see him, you know, believing in true love. You know, I see him, you know, imagining his beautiful, you know, to him, he thinks soulmate. He doesn't necessarily know about the twin flame journey, but he's like, you know, my soulmate's out there somewhere. Okay. He, so he's already met you. Um, in the past, he had a lot of mental conflict people places and situations giving him a hard time but then he gained clarity and said you know what no bleeps given here I'm going to come into my own and just focus on me you know I'm going to be the king of all kings I'm going to be loving I'm going to have clarity I'm going to you know get the money you know or you know the abundance that I need and also I'm going to bring in the love and whoever pisses me off I'm going to tell them to go away. So he's working on his abundance, this divine masculine here. He's working on his abundance very well. And he's also working on his healing. You know, he is spiritual in some way, shape or form. I feel like he can manifest well using the law of attraction, using his, you know, um, abilities to heal himself you know, knowing that his own self-growth is healing for him. So he's quite awake, okay? So he's been dreaming of this, you know, white picket fence kind of scenario with you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so that's for reading number two. The love messages from this Divine Masculine. Okay, so for some reason you're not talking at the moment. You could have had a break. Just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to. Okay, you might just be in separation for a little minute. But then he says, I won't give up on you, so don't give up on me, please. Okay. There's one last message from him. I get butterflies every time my eyes lock with yours. Okay, so if he, um, you know, has pictures of yours, you know, he looks at them quite often. Okay, so that's number two. Number three scenario. Let me just pull the cards up here. <laughs> I need a bigger table, I think. Okay. This is fun. Story time with Divine Masculine. My goodness, look at my hair. <laughs> this is why I do audios, people. This is why I do audios because, you know, when you wake up like this, you think, should I do a video today? <laughs> remember remember that show with cousin it i don't know i mean that's a really old show so if you're younger you won't know it but you know there was literally a character with its hair <laughs> and it would talk go woo, 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 woo. You know? <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it makes me laugh because my mum my mum you know she used to laugh at things like that so i guess i get my sense of humor well i get my sense of humor from my mum and my dad but yes <laughs> anyway what I find funny you may not find funny what I find funny and that's fine but I just you know me and Harry me and Harry <laughs> we like to laugh sometimes he's <laughs> he, because you know everything's too serious sometimes especially you know what's going on in the world it's good to have a little laugh and um, you know go onto YouTube and uh, find some I don't know comedians or something to have a laugh it's good to do that all righty so this next divine masculine he's moving slow uh oh <laughs> we've got the snail pace divine masculine here we know how divine feminine loves that don't we <laughs> but that's okay the reason he's moving slow is because he's got some work to do other than the twin flame journey but he this divine masculine recognizes that he's in a twin flame journey recognizes the divinity of the connection recognizes that you two have been you know together before that you know one another you know stability has been an issue for him in terms of money in terms of feeling you know secure he wishes he wishes for the happy home the children you know this whole fairy tale this is what he really longs for. He's not a player. There's no player energy here. He's not, he's not the type of man to come in and out and, you know, um, 
benefits and all of this stuff. However, there is another woman in the picture. Okay. So, you know, this could be his wife. This could be his, you know, significant other for right now. And he feels chained to her. Okay. He feels chained to her because, you know, they are in some sort of contract together. But the truth is that he, you know, he's been feeling left out in the cold for a long time in this relationship. He doesn't, it doesn't feel warm. You know, he feels like she's cold and he feels cold with her. Okay. Now, it might not be a wife or a partner. It might be uh, a mother or a auntie or a significant woman in his life that makes him feel this way. Some divine masculines, you know, have had um, not great upbringings, which means their mother could have been cold or their auntie could have been cold or their grandmother could be cold. So they find it very difficult to love because, you know, they've seen women in a toxic way. OK, this is how I'm feeling. You know, he feels, you know, that women are toxic. So he finds it very difficult to trust. Okay, so he says, I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. So whatever he did, he's saying sorry now. This is his soul saying sorry. Okay, then he says, you are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. So he recognizes that you are not toxic. You know, that you are not a distorted feminine. You are a divine feminine. And you know, this is beautiful because we have this here. All right, so we've got one more to go. Okay, so this is reading four now. Reading four, reading four. Okay, this divine masculine has been confused about this whole twin flame connection, this whole idea of twin flames. You know, is it real? Is it not? He's not, he's having a hard time making a decision regarding it. You know, he's gone away and he's looked at some things, but he's kind of, you know, uh, this isn't, you know, how come... You know, he kind of thinks, you know, how come all these women believe in this twin flame thing? You know, what's this twin flame thing? This is ridiculous. You know, he's, he's going la 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 la, you know, with the blindfold on. He doesn't, he doesn't want to listen to this. Okay, so he's, he's researched it. He's researched it and he really, you know, he's not really liking what he sees. He's not, he doesn't really think that this is an actionable thing. He doesn't really believe, you know, that this is the truth. He doesn't really believe that, you know, two people could make each other feel, you know, so wonderful and that, you know, they could have this world together, okay? He's, you know, he's not really a, a romantic. <laughs> he's not very romantic at all, actually. Okay, so what happens is that, you know, there's a need for this divine masculine to go and meditate more. You know, he's constantly doing things in, in his physical reality. You know, he's all about the action, all about the action, all about the action. And his divine feminine is all about the being, you know, the beingness of being still, of being quiet, of being, you know, going within, taking, um, you know, taking her time to discover herself. This divine masculine you know, doesn't do that. And in fact, the secret, the secret that he's been holding for a long time is that, you know, he always has this conflict with others because he's in his ego. You know, you can't come into your heart space if you're, you know, taking action all the time in your outside world. You know, to come out of your ego, you need to go within and do the inner work, whether this means just closing your eyes in prayer or closing your eyes in meditation or connecting with your breath or doing a form of yoga you know it's this it's in the stillness that you learn to um connect with yourself and of course the twin flame journey is a journey to the self and this particular masculine is still in his distorted energy because um you know he's in his ego okay Ego is the hardest thing to tame on the twin flame journey. Ego, especially, you know, for the divine masculine, is hard to let go of. So I'm getting this feeling from this particular divine masculine that he's really off balance. Like he just is like, whoa, you know, who is this? Who is this 
cheeky babe that's coming in and saying, you know, we're on a twin flame journey. What do you mean we're on a twin flame journey? You know, he doesn't think that there's such a thing. Okay. He's also got headaches, this guy. Like in a really bad headaches, he gets headaches a lot. Okay, he needs to drink more water. And he needs to stop, you know, stressing and arguing with other people, I feel. Okay, so he says, I'm truly sorry for my words and actions. So maybe he said some things to you when he was in his ego, Divine Feminine. And then he says, I'm a big mess and that's the last thing you need right now. Yeah, because he's in his ego. See, when you're in your ego, in your lower, lower vibrational emotions, you know, you attack people. You get mad, you judge people, you know, you, you watch the news and go, oh, blah, 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 you know, you yell at the TV and you, you know, you get in that, it's anger, you know, anger and frustration. And then, and then this is when people start, you know, beginning to use things outside of themselves to cope, you know, whether that be a drug or an alcohol or, you know, pornography or um, whatever it is. And I'm not saying that, you know, anything's good or bad, but you know, um, when you love yourself, you wouldn't want to hurt yourself. So, you know, everything in moderation, right? Everything in moderation. And my channel will never, ever tell anyone to, you know, take a drug or an alcohol or, you know, anything that could hurt them or harm them. All right. So, you know, this channel is about being, um, connected to the self in a natural way in a natural flow uh you know where you you try and promote healthy eating healthy lifestyle perhaps yoga meditation you know deep belly breathing um and staying in your joy your joy you know being being loving staying in that state of of joyfulness of beingness you know instead of doing all the time you know take Let's just take three deep breaths, if, if you want to stay with me now. But let's just take three deep breaths together, okay? One. Two. Now already you've connected with yourself, already you've connected to source, already you've connected to your higher self when you do that, okay? You know, a lot of you need to drink more water, a lot of you are getting headaches. This is for divine feminine and masculine, you know, as I'm channeling this message I'm getting headaches, I'm getting, you know, that feeling of being off balance, of dizziness, of, um, you know, complete exhaustion for some of you. Okay, so I said I'd be quick and I have been quick. Um, let's just get a well-being message before I go. And hmm, let's see what we need to work on. <laughs> we'll get one for... We'll get a joint one today. We'll get a joint one. Oh, okay. We can't have 18 cards. We'll take these two. Okay. So this is for divine masculine and feminine, okay? By visualizing my desired outcome, the perfect action is always inspired. Okay? As your desire to feel good leads you to thoughts that feel good, the perfect action will be inspired from that alignment and that inspired action is always joyful. So here we go, follow your joy, follow your joy. It is not my work to control others. That's a big message. Trying to limit anybody about anything defies the laws of the universe. It cannot be done. You cannot control others, but you can control and create your own reality. Okay? So remember, you know, where's Harry? Harry stands here in his own vibration and stays as high as he possibly can in those higher emotions, in those higher levels of consciousness. Love, joy, peace tranquility and then all of a sudden all of the people places and things <laughs> we can't see harry anymore see 
See, he's covered with all this beauty and this wonder and, you know, all this loveliness. Okay? The job will come. The people will come. The, <laughs> the sexy time will come. Look at his face. The sexy time will come. Harry, stop it. <laughs> okay. I promise you when I get off camera, I don't actually talk to Harry. Harry only comes on when we talk to him on the channel. <laughs> all right i love you i'm sending you love peace and light this day uh this was story time with divine masculine so i hope one of the stories resonated for you today divine feminine i'm so proud of you you're being in this energy and this energy and this energy look at you go with your solar plexus girl Woohoo! wow divine feminine she's free she's nurturing perhaps spending time in the garden abundance coming in for you divine feminine you're doing a fantastic job you've been working on yourself which brings divine masculine in helps divine masculine well done i love you all sending love peace and light wherever you are in the world um whether it's morning afternoon evening whatever time it is okay bye <laughs> bye